Peace, peace, Ali. Coming at you on behalf of SAliMyers.com and also L9Shop.com. So I'm still at the Serpent Mound, and part in the noise, I'm the only one here as far as a visitor, but there is maintenance, and they're, they're um, tending to the mound. But I'm at the Serpent Mound in Peebles, Ohio, which is in Adams County, and I wanted to make this video to let you know about my first experience at the mound. Now, the first time that I was at the mound, I did a ritual with my cousin Juice, which most of you are familiar with, and also a mutual friend named Rob. And we came up here during the December 21st, 2012 phenomenon. Many people are talking about the world was going to end or we're going to hit a stage of enlightenment or a new eon or new age, the age of Aquarius, all these different theories as far as 2012. So we wanted to make sure that we got into some kind of sacred land and did a visualization ritual while we were here. So we headed here. December 21st, 2012, and we actually got here around 11 o'clock, so we were able to do our, our ritual at 11, 11 a.m. Now, with it being so short of time, we were running late, it was snowing, the, the roads were bad, and we were slipping on the way here, and it's about an hour, probably about an hour and 45 minute drive from where we were located in Ohio. So, when, once we got here, we had to do something real quick. So, if, um, it's, um, I could see the spot that we were at, but we all we did was sat there and we just sat there and just visualized for the most part. We didn't do anything elaborate. We just faced the sun and we just visualized and meditated. What we visualized on, I don't remember. But all I know is three men were together December 21st, 2012 at 11, 11 a.m. And I believe we meditated or visualized for 11 minutes. One thing happened during that time. When we came out of it, we all thought the sun came out. Now, we were facing the sun, but the sun was so clouded behind the clouds because it was winter. December 21st, 2012, winter solstice. It was snowing. So the sun wasn't out anywhere. But all three of us reported that it felt like the sun came out and we were getting hit by the, by the rays of the sun. When we opened our eyes, the sun wasn't out at all. I think I was the first one to say, it felt like the sun was out, and Rob said it, and Jew said it, and we was all like, yeah, it felt like the sun was out. And we were tripping, you know? So we didn't think nothing about it. Now, I, I told you that to tell you, we did nothing in particular. Now, when we go to these different mounds, we're doing something for prosperity, something for healing, something for love. We, we have a motive. We have an, uh, something that we're, we're wanting to invoke that time we didn't do that so when we left the mound I want to say the very next day and mind you this is in 2012 so I wasn't getting any um, consultations people weren't hitting me up all crazy like that but the day after someone signed up for a consultation no big deal the very next day after that someone else signed up for a consultation Okay, I never had, at that time, two days in a row where someone got a consultation. But that's not good enough. The third day, someone else signed up for a consultation. And the kicker of this person is, they signed up for the highest package, and they were not, they didn't want a consultation. Um, to this day, I don't know who they were because I emailed them trying to get a hold of them. I couldn't find them. They never responded. I never talked to the person. So three day or for three days in a row after we came up and did the visualization and meditation at the Serpent Mound, I had three days of consultations. Two of them I did, one I don't even know who they are. If you're watching this video, if you're a real person, message me, you know, and, um, and we'll get your, your session set up. But the reason why that was so important is because that was one of the things that showed me the power of these mounds. Once again, we did no ritual for prosperity, nothing dealing with money. We just wanted to connect with the land because it was the winter solstice. But the universe rewarded me personally by giving me consultation, by giving me quote unquote money. And like I said, one of the people weren't even uh, uh, available. I really don't know if it was a person. But the universe wanted me to see the power of connecting with these lands. Now, that's one of the things I'm always recommending to people is go to a mound, 
and do your rituals, do your meditation, just do something at these sacred spots because our ancestors left them here for a reason. I've had many different spiritual phenomena, many different majestical things happen, many different synchronicities. Like I, one of the phrases I like to say is I can bore you with details. But if you have any trust in me whatsoever, trust me. Holler at some of these mounds and do your spiritual work there. So this has been Ali. If you want to find out more information about myself and what we do, be sure to visit my website, salimyers.com, and also check out the metaphysical superstore, l9shop.com. Until next time, peace.